Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to give you a little update on some custom work I've been doing to my 1 4th scale NECA Michael Myers figure, the Rob Zombie version. Um, basically this is how it looked. Stock, plastic sculpted hair and the mask, not much detail in it, but it's a great sculpt in the mask. Uh, the outfit's done really well. So I ripped off the plastic hair piece at the back of the mask there, you can basically just rip that off. And uh, by the way, that's my picture up there from a previous attempt uh, um, hairing this particular figure. So that's the last time uh, I did this. That was with real hair from a friend of mine. Uh, great effect, but it just was really gross. And over time it was becoming more gross. And I just had to get rid of it and uh, try again with um, fake hair from an actual Halloween werewolf mask that you pull over your whole head. Uh, so just have a look there. That's how. That's not my picture, that's just the figure how you get it stock out of the box. This must be a still from someone else's video on YouTube, so if you see this and that's your picture, uh, shout out to you. So, I'll show you how he looks now. Um, this is him with the werewolf mask hair put on his head. I've also taken the head outside and rubbed mud into the mask and then wiped it off again. It's left behind a really nice realistic kind of, you know, muddy look. But as you can see, the hair effect has worked wonders. I mean, it just changes this thing into a, literally like a museum piece. It looks so good, and it took all day to get that hair on there. You have to start from the bottom of the neck and work your way slowly up to the top of the forehead. But I got there in the end, it didn't look right at first, I started to think it was hopeless, but the more hair I added, and just kept adding hair, kept adding hair, kept adding hair, and eventually it started to look right. And now here he is, the NECA 1 4 scale Michael Myers figure, with real hair, well, fake hair from a Halloween werewolf mask, and a really weathered sort of mask effect as well. That's just the light from something I'm watching on YouTube shining on his face, but it's having a pretty cool effect. Anyway, I've taken a bunch of pictures of him walking throughout the house and he looks really real, so enjoy them. And uh, let me know your thoughts and if you've got any questions. But I'm really happy with the results, I think it looks fantastic. And he's going in the horror collection now, he's going to go up on that horror shelf in the collection room. With the Free Zero Myers, the Sideshow Freddy, the Vampirella by TV League, and the Cool Models Werewolf. But every angle of the head just looks fantastic. I'll just let him come round one more time and just see how creepy he is. Speaking of creepy, someone's watching in the background. But yeah, look at that. Look at that right there. It's ridiculous. I'm very proud of that. All right, enjoy the photography. And um, oh, thanks for all your comments on the video that just went up, which was the Hot Toys Rogue One Genesa review. That took a while to put together. It was worth it in the end. Alright, just wanted to give you this little update on the NECA 1 4 scale Rob Zombie Michael Myers figure. But now with hair instead of sculpted hair, the effect is pretty cool. Alright, enjoy the pictures coming up. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Dean Knight 333. I'll see you soon. This is the kind of werewolf mask that I used for the hair, guys. So um, you'd have to go on eBay and just search for something. That looks like this. Uh, it's supposed to come with gloves as well with the claws, but I didn't actually get them when I received this, so keep an eye out for that uh, when you're looking. It's the one that looks like this and comes also with hands, gloves, claws, that kind of thing.